right, guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, going to go over a story titled, Fiance Cheated Right Before Bachelor Bachelorette Trip Seven Years. And guys, this is about a guy, he is, uh, sounds like he's in his mid-twenties, maybe late-twenties at best. He's in graduate school. He's been with his girlfriend for seven years. He's obviously his fiance at this point. And they were all set to get married pretty soon. And before, they're going to go on this bachelor bachelorette weekend or week. Sounds like a camping trip or some kind of excursion, which ordinarily sounds pretty darn cool. However, before this all went down, he started noticing some unusual behavior from her. Things just didn't seem quite right. His uh, red flags were there. He's trusting his gut. And eventually, before uh, they were going to go on this trip, he had to talk with her. And essentially, she wanted to take a break. He thought, was that, he thought that was kind of strange because that's not her type of thing. And lo and behold, ultimately, he digs it at her that she cheated. But here's the worst part about the whole thing. I mean, it's bad enough. She was cheating and they were together seven years. They're going to get married. She blamed him. Imagine that. She blamed him for her cheating, that he wasn't paying enough attention to her, wasn't doting on her. Pretty much, she's the victim. And he's the bad guy. And therefore, she had every right to cheat. No accountability. No remorse. And this guy's really hurting. And I might add, they do a long-distance relationship. So, I don't want to get more than that. But this, this story is a perfect example how it's amazing how these gals in these stories will gaslight a guy. You know? And make it all that it's his fault. And the crazy thing is, is how so many guys actually buy into this BS. And they're like, well, maybe it was my fault. And they end up apologizing for her cheating. Now, that's not what goes on here. Thank the Lord. And this guy handles this right. But I think it's a good example to show you guys about the importance of paying attention to red flags. How these types will gaslight you. And that's becoming more and more of a common thing. The old joke about accountability is dead on. And how you can't stick around with someone like this. And you got to trust your gut and, and get away from it. And also, how long-distance relationships really aren't a very good idea. But anyhow starts off he says here hi all i uh, used to see this sub and get referenced but i never visit it because i never thought i find myself needing to i'm an idiot he's referring to this uh reddit but i'm here now after a seven-year relationship that i thought was rock solid she cheated on me we are or were a long distance relationship and about to start our bachelorette bachelorette trip which many of our friends had committed to i've been looking forward to this trip for over a year Unlike a traditional bachelor-bachelorette outing, we simply planned a fun trip where we do everything together with our friends. Well, with the right people, that sounds like a good time. Beats going to freaking stupid-ass uh, uh, gentlemen's clubs and all that, where trouble definitely comes, comes many times. The wedding itself had been difficult to plan out, so up until a few weeks ago, we were discussing doing a courthouse wedding right at the start of this trip. In that case, it would essentially be a wedding celebration. I was so excited to finally marry her. Oh, this poor guy. All this time, he thought that she was somebody else, and she then revealed her true colors. Which goes to show, guys, and I talk about all the time how important it is to spend years with your girl. If you're really going to get serious with her, you know, like marrying her or whatever. And even then... You can never be 100% sure. In those years, yeah, you can hopefully see, have real-life situations come your way and see how she handles it, how she behaves. Is she supportive of you? Is she loyal? How she is with money? What her family's like? All these things that can get an idea of what a future would be like. But even here in this case, seven years, he didn't really know her. Uh, less than a month ago, she started behaving strangely. I ignored it for a bit, but started bugging her a couple of weeks ago. What's this disconnect? What is this detachment? Is there something we should talk about? She's in graduate school, and I understand how stressful that is. I want to know what was going on and if I could help. With her long enough to know something's up, and you got to trust your gut. Suddenly, she tells me she isn't sure about getting married right now. Mentions a break. She used to regularly mock the idea of people taking breaks in relationships. Yeah, she used to mock it until now she wants it. And what does a break really mean, guys? A break means I want to go ride the carousel one more time before I marry you. And maybe I can actually convince you to do this, and hopefully you're dumb enough to, to do this. But not this guy. Uh, this about face confused the hell out of me. I made me a little suspicious. She started listing, list, she started listing problems with me. Most of them I perceived as relatively minor. Uh-oh, did you cheat? No answer. Just telling me she needs to figure herself out. 
figure herself out. That's another one, a popular one. Oh, I got I to gotta go work on myself right now. I got to figure myself out, that type of shit. How many of you guys have heard that one? He says, did you cheat though? Please let me know. More strange, distracting words. Hey, why are you not answering my question? Did you cheat? So she won't give a straight answer. This guy obviously isn't that stupid. Blind for a while, but uh, not stupid. She finally says, I have. That hurt, but what came after was worse. She showed zero remorse. Brings up weird rationalization after weird rationalization to explain that I'm just as responsible as her. Oh, how nice. You're the reason that I cheated. It's not my fault. Oh, no, 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 no. You made me do it. She never says, I messed up. It's always, I was unhappy because of you. And something happened. She was very vague. I got some details from her, and she insists it's just one person. Yeah, sure. But she returned to him three times. It all started last month, in May. Exactly around the time I noticed her behavior changing. There you go, guys. Another example why you always pay attention to their actions. Actions say everything. If you know something's off, something doesn't seem right, you need to listen to your gut, pay attention to those red flags, and speak up or do something about it. Only one time, only one guy, but it uh, happened three times. And it's your fault. Her plan was to go on our week and a half long bachelorette, bachelor, bachelorette trip and tell me about the cheating during it. That was her plan, right in the middle of the whole party with all the friends to tell you then about it. She's trying to sabotage things. She wants you to hate her. She wants to screw it up. Can you believe that? She says that was her plan. I think it's more likely she was going to hide it, find another excuse to eventually break up with me after the fun trip with her friends, and keep it secret that she cheated. Who knows? Obviously, this, this woman's a wacko. Obviously, she's not narcissistic, and in my opinion, a little sociopathic, so she, maybe she would have done that. I'm glad I got out of her when I did, but at this point, I think she isn't telling me the whole truth and that she likely cheated in the past. I'm pretty much willing to bet all the money I have that she definitely uh, is not giving this guy the full story. And yeah, definitely cheated in the past. You see, she ended up explaining that she loves being doted on. I already knew that. She flirts with guys that she doesn't even like just to get, get them to give her, wait for it, attention. So are you telling me, I, I, gotta, I gotta pause this. Is this guy aware that this is a common thing, flirting with other guys she doesn't like to get attention, or is she just bringing this up right then and there? Because I really hope that this isn't something he's observed throughout his relationship with her, that she regularly, because he said it here, flirts with guys to get attention. Because if that's the case, he is a bonehead for staying with her, because those types, they need that attention always, not going to stop. And sometimes that flirting on purpose in front of the boyfriend, they do it on purpose to test them to see if the guy will check them. And if you, and you guys are with a gal that's like that, whoosh, done. End it. She implies that it was inevitable that she would cheat since I hadn't paid, hadn't paid attention to her unhappiness. Oh, for God's sake. Did she ever mention she was unhappy? Did she ever, like, want to talk about it? Or was it the age-old, you should have known? You know how they want, uh, a lot of gals want their men to be mind readers, which were not. Communication's key. I was unhappy, therefore I can cheat. I'll point out that a couple months ago, I decided I was leaving my current job, moving back to her specifically because the distance was hurting us. I'd already committed to fixing that situation, and she seemed psyched about it at the time. But now she's telling me that she's a very sexual person, and she probably can't be in a monogamous relationship. She is doing everything she can to destroy this relationship. Everything. No remorse, blaming him for everything. I want attention. I Now, now she can't be in a monogamous relationship. Walk away. Now, obviously his heart's broken because this is someone he thought he knew. Seven years of his life is no small thing when you're in your mid-20s. That's a, that's a big chunk of your life, whether, even if you're 70 years old. And that's, that's unfortunate. It's a shame. But this is not the woman he knows. At the same time, she says she hoped we could come to some kind of compromise and continue with the relationship. She's completely delusional. Yes, she is delusional. She's hoping that this guy will stay around so she could have her guy... But she can go out and uh, ride the carousel, the cake and eat it too scenario. That's what she's hoping. And she can marry him, have a ring on her finger and all that, and, and open relationship essentially. And a lot of guys sadly go along with this bullshit, but thank the Lord this guy is not that type of guy. And none of you who are watching this, our relationship guys, should ever do this. He says it's messy. 
I'm upset, try to get more details and understand why. But her lack of remorse is devastating in a way that I could never have expected. I needed her to acknowledge that she did something wrong, but that admission never came. Now she doesn't want to talk for a bit because she claims she's angry with me and needs to calm down. She thinks she is a victim. What she is, is a textbook narcissist. That's what she is. Complete lack of remorse, doesn't care. And I, I can't believe that she hadn't displayed these types of qualities before. Now, obviously, with her behaving in this way, she definitely has a dude or dudes lined up and ready to go. Okay, his replacement. And usually the way it works is, these types of guys are the bad boy Chads and Tyrones. And when things don't work out with Chad and Tyrone, which they never do, these, these type of gals will be back calling these guys, hoping that to get a second chance. But I can tell you right now, by reading the comment section, this guy is done with her. The victim my ass. I'm going to go on the trip my friends anyway. Uh, she and her friends are not. I leave in a few days. Everything about this is heartbreaking, and I'm so lucky I have incredible friends. I don't know what else to say other than that I don't know how damaging this kind of experience was until now. The psychological effects are crazy. I just want it to be over now. And that ends the story, but I'm going to get into the comments, which are great from the men reading this, st this story to help them out. But I got to say this, like, again, perfect example, textbook narcissist. There's nothing, he, he, I'm sure this guy and guys like him in the situation would just go crazy trying to figure out how, how could she act this way? How could she be so cold? How could she uh, not care? How could she suddenly change like that? Just all this stuff. And at the end of the day, you never knew her. She did that good of a job hiding her disguise. It's like in Star Wars when Darth Sidious was hiding his Sith identity from the Jedi in the prequels. They're like all these little Darth Sidiouses walking around, camouflaging their true nature. And these guys only see it when it truly comes out. And it's sad, but this guy can't blame himself. It's not his fault. She's a wacko. End of story. And this guy's got to move on and completely just ghost to have nothing to do with her. Get all his stuff back. If she has stuff, I think they're living together, so get your stuff back and move on. But thank the Lord, there's a silver lining here. They didn't get married to her. That she, This didn't get revealed after they got hitched, because then he'd be stuck with her. You know, be a, be a greater mess. So the, the silver lining is they're not married yet. But notice, guys, how lately I've been doing a lot of stories about things like this being revealed right before the wedding. So thank the Lord that happens before. Now, I'm going to go through some comments. And I got to say, it's really nice to see in a, in a situation like this. I didn't. I don't believe I saw one comment supporting her. Not one comment uh, or saying this guy he's at fault or something. They're everybody supporting this dude and a lot of really good advice and good words of encouragement from different dudes, which is nice to see in this world because let's be honest, we don't always get that. One guy says here uh, she cheated. You have to extract a confession. She blamed you. She has shown zero remorse. You have nothing to work with. She has shown you who she truly is at her core. Believe her. She is not who you thought she was. There is every chance that this is not her first rodeo. As hard as it is, you have to learn who she is before kids, marriage, car payments, etc. I think in this situation you should make a clean break. Ghost her and go full no contact. It is pointless to talk to her since you know she, you can't trust her on her words. Take your trip, lean on your friends and family until you are healed. Then find someone that is true as you are. Good words of advice, except for the last part, good, then find somebody else. Well, this guy needs to do some serious healing, soul searching, working on himself, and understanding the importance of always keeping your eyes open and things like that. And I, I can connect the dots already and see, read between the lines. This guy obviously showed a lot of nice guy behaviors with her. But a lot of guys do that, and I was that type back in the day. You learn, and hopefully he doesn't do that again. Another guy says, OP, I'm glad to hear that you're still going to take the trip with your buddies. It'll be good for you to be around folks who care for you. As, as for understanding her and why she did what she did, don't drive yourselves insane over that. That's what I said. My relationship wasn't as long as yours, but still almost two years long, all which I thought was rock solid as well. I'm not almost two months out from D-Day myself, and I made myself go mad trying to understand how she could do this to me or to us. Now, I recognize the type of person she, she was that she hid so well, and I see that who I thought she was never actually existed. It'll be very difficult, as it always is, but you need to begin walking the path of accepting what she did and accept that there is no why or now today. You only prolong your suffering, like mine did, but, like I did with mine. By trying to get answers, you never will. Best of luck to, to you, my man. If you ever need to talk, go ahead and shoot me a message. Man, these guys are cool. Yeah. 
others have experienced this. And I think it's helpful to people when they, when they hear others struggled and gone through the same BS. It doesn't make them feel as alone. And the guy says, take the trip and celebrate. Yes, it stings now, but knowing the truth is now a victory. Imagine finding out who she really is after marrying her and having kids. Yeah. She's not who you thought she was. No remorse or apologies, just blame shifting. It will take some time to get over this, but start now. Reality will hit her when she sees you with another beautiful woman on your arms. Be strong enough to resist her and when she comes to her senses. She's not going to come to her senses in the, in the way that like she'll be sorry, like genuinely sorry or see the error of her ways. What will happen is, yeah, this guy who sounds like a cool dude will move on, probably get another good looking woman and probably younger, I might add. And when that woman is dumped by Chad and Tyrone and done riding the carousel, she'll want to go back to this guy and he'll have the fun opportunity to say, fuck off. And the last one guy says, although it doesn't seem like it right now, you dodged a bullet in the long term. She displays some very strong narcissistic behaviors, which would have damaged your mental health even further. At least you can now concentrate on working on yourself and heal. Try to have absolutely no contact with that person once everything has been finalized in the breakup. And allow yourself to fully mourn this part of your life. So once that you are done grieving, you can fully let it go. Yeah, you got to go through the grieving process to be able to move on. And that's from lots of things in life that come our way. The complete lack of remorse, empathy, or ability to recognize their wrongdoing by projecting their responsibility onto their victims are all telltale signs of abusive personality traits which again would have made your marriage to that person invariably abusive. Make sure you enjoy the trip with your mates and do not let this person manipulate you into thinking you're responsible for their agency. In the long run, learn to find your self-worth and don't take this person's actions personally. Well, it's going to be very hard for him to do that. Hopefully in time, but it will be hard. Obviously easier said than done, especially when the injury is so raw. It does get better and with time you'll be glad you didn't marry this monster. Cheers. These guys are freaking cool that are helping this guy. But exactly, I couldn't say it all better myself. One day at a time. And this guy may never ever find this channel, see this video. But there will be guys out there that may have situ situations that are similar. Or maybe when I publish this video tonight. On, uh, I think it's June 15th, 2022. Because this video is going to be out there forever. This may help somebody going through this situation right now. It is not your fault. It's her fault. She's an asshole. She's a wacko. No, total narcissist. And this guy can, in time, will move on. But seven years is no small number, especially when you're in your mid-20s, you know, because he probably got together when he, with her when he was like 18 or something like that, you know, in college or who knows what. It's going to take time. But all of us, at least most of us, have had relationships and been hurt. It does get better over time. But you work on yourself. You spend time with your bros, your family, get back to hitting the gym, getting some exercise, because the last thing you should do even though you want to, is to hide in your cave, in your in your apartment or house, and not come out for air, and eat, eat a bunch of fast food and garbage, and drink tons of alcohol, and get fat, and miserable, and depressed, and all that. That's okay for a weekend, to let it out, and all that, but afterwards, you gotta move on. Focus on your grind, focus on your purpose, and you will get better. And when you're ready, after you've worked on yourself, and learn, improve some things about yourself, if you're a relationship guy, then you get back on the horse, start dating younger, hotter women, and it'll piss her off. And mark my words, if this guy completely cuts her out of his life, she's going to wonder, how could he just walk away from me? What's he up to? And she'll reach out. And that guy will have the fun enjoyment of uh, saying what has to be said. And they always come back. Always. All right, guys, that is it for today. I thought it would be a good one to deal with the, about these narcissists and, the, and paying attention to red flags and these types that uh, gaslight and blame guys for their, their cheating and their indiscretions. Be sure to comment down below. Let me just think about this. Let me know, guys, if you guys have ever experienced this where she did the, she did the cheating, she torpedoed the relationship, and then blamed you. And you know darn well you didn't do anything wrong. Let's hear about that. And guys, also, if you have a great story like to share with me, by all means, email to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. If it's your personal story, just make sure you write it nice and easy for me to read. Or this also covers any good stories or articles that you think that would be good for the channel. Send it my way, include the link, and I'll get to it when I can. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.